so this is Mr. Potato Head and this is a huge step for him because I took him out a few days ago. He's a little unsure of some stuff so when we go through gates and stuff, loud noises, passing cars, but absolutely great on leash, very little pull if anything, walks directly by my side or sometimes right behind me. So need to be careful when walking him just because he's such a love to the legs. Oh, and kisses. So I don't know if you can see this. He is leaning on me. I took him out last week. Um, he was a little hand shy last week, so I was a little worried. He seems to be calming down if you sit down with him and you're quiet. He's been good um, in the passing of dogs. We've got some ducks and turkeys out here right now. It doesn't seem to phase him. Just kind of looking around. I do occasionally get him to do a sit. It's not very treat motivated. Kind of picky with his treats. Bless you. But he's doing much better today. Much better. I'm not sure about the name though. Mr. Potato Head. Hey. Hi, mister. Hi. Hi. You've turned into a love bug today, huh? What do you think? Volunteer pick of the month? You wanna be that, huh? You wanna be that? Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna pick him. I think we're picking Mr. Potato Head. I would recommend, I mean, if these traits stand true to how he is, maybe somewhere, not a loud house, not a lot of like young kids, new kids, maybe an adult household, somebody who just wants to go for walks and enjoy some time outside and some cuddle time. Um, I'm not sure that other animals would be an issue since he's been so calm, um, but I know noise and new things definitely takes him an extra little moment to get, get used to, but teach their own, right? Oh, leaning in for love. I love you, Mr. Potato Head. He's a good boy. Come check him out. Say bye.